Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of my YouTube channel. Um, in this video, we're going to be going on a familiar website, Poke.com, but playing a different game this time. Today we're going to be playing a game called Rodeo Stampede. Now, I have a really good account. Um, that is... Um, has a lot of different types of animals, and it's probably my best account, but there is my playing on, um, this account right here is because of, I have a membership for this one, and I didn't sign up for it or anything, it just came available. So, before we get right into the video, um, go to Google, look up pokey.com, press enter, and then press the search button right here and then type in Rodeo Stampede. It'll come up and choose the regular one. And then it'll bring you and do the intro. So um, it, once you do that, do the intro and like it'll explain everything. If you don't do that, well, m this video might be confusing. So I'm going to be explaining everything to you guys um, and everything like that. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to press the play button. What happens when you press the play button? You go to a screen like this. And this thing um, is a taming animal game. So you see there's a buffalo, there's an ostrich, there's an elephant, you saw a little vulture on the rock thingy. And the longer you stay on the animal, the angrier it gets. So you don't want it to be angry all the time, so you have to press the space bar if you're on a computer to transfer animals and then use the arrow keys to move. See there's a zebra. And basically you have missions to complete and stuff like that. Um, it is actually harder than it looks. <laughs> so, um, it actually, it's, I guess it's kind of easy, but um, you can kind of see that it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but I've done this for a while now, so it's pretty easy. Um, but this account, like I've said, it's newish, so I just started a couple of days ago. And I'm not the worst at it, actually. So today I'm explaining how to get a couple animals in this game, and yeah. So there's an ad, it's weird, it's about Barbies. Um, ads appear sometimes um, if you want a reward, so two, one, okay, it's two. So I'm gonna, so when you see a match thing, you can breed in different types of animals. However, if others are already like breeding, you have to skip the weight or cancel the breeding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip weights and make 125 coins. And I get a new baby animal. And he can do good stuff for you, so Rare animals appear too more often, and then animals get angry to 4% slower. Use them as my sidekick. This guy, I have a baby one of those. Baby ostrich, I have a baby vulture, and then a baby African elephant. So you, so I'm gonna be showing you all the animals that I have. Um, with 
next video, part episode two, I'm going to be showing you my other account. Um, that's actually really good and has a bunch of cool animals on it. However, it can't. It doesn't do ads, and you can't unlock rewards and go to different places. So there's the water buffalo. Um, bison, dia buffalo, cape buffalo, forest buffalo. Um, we have three zebras, zebra, rubber zebra, and candy corn. And they have taco giraffe, 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 and then I don't know where my other one went. Oh yeah, I went to the breeding place. Um, and goods appear like that. You click them and you get money. For ostriches, I have a lot of ostriches. Um, ostrich, celebrity, glam, rock stretch, um, ostrich, ostrich, and yeah, two vultures. Egyptian vulture and the uh, regular vulture, and then I have African element and the mammoth. Little coin behind there. There we go. Got that. And so once you get money, you can upgrade your map and go to different places. Um, so I just need to reach total habitat level of 13 and then I can upgrade to go there and unlock a different type a different type of animal. So the first animal we're going to be doing is an animal called Dia Buffalo. I showed you him. Um, I have him in my zoo. But there's a special way you actually have to get it. You have to go on a bucking buffalo, which is a decade buffalo. Um, for, um, you want to keep buffalo for, um, 25 seconds. So, I practice a lot, so it's not terribly hard for me anymore. I struggled a bit with this. Um, I died a lot, but practice makes perfect. It doesn't necessarily have to be a bucking buffalo. I haven't tried it without a bucking buffalo. Uh, Cape Buffalo. I don't know why I call it Bucking Buffalo. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I completed the mission. And I'm gonna. Oh my god. Okay, and as soon as you have 25 seconds, it appears. And so, as you can see, this is the GR Buffalo. And it looks really cool. So you can tame that guy. Now, every couple of missions you finish, oh, why did I press this? Every couple of missions you finish, um, you get a boss mission. So I have missions, they just appeared there. Um, so every couple of Every like 20 missions you do, um, the, you can get boss missions. This team you FG thingy is a boss mission. So, and when we were exploring the ostriches, it said ostrich, that was a type of boss ostrich. The boss ostrich was a, a boss mission. You basically have to stay on an ostrich for a very long time. So when elephants get angry, they throw you off. When buffaloes get angry, they start jumping. When ostriches get angry, they go really, really fast. As you can see here. However, drafts also throw you off, but 
they are very helpful animals because they can throw you off really far and help you get different types of animals in the air, like different types of vultures. Okay, wait for this ad. Ads are sort of annoying though. I'm glad. So I'm going to retry one more time and then I'm going to show you the boss mission. And also the buffaloes have the power. They can take animals away. Um, I mean, at the very beginning when you have them. Into zebras. Zebras, however, when you get angry, when you stand them wrong, they get angry and they go like this. So it's kind of worse than a buffalo. Okay, I'm gonna get on with the buffalo. I'm gonna get on with zebra or the, the giraffe. Okay, so what we're good, so a boss mission, you can tame a special type of animal that's rare, and you unlock this creature and let it come in the wild. So the first boss mission, the boss ostrich, what you have to do is stay on an ostrich. Remember how it goes really fast? You have to stay on it because there was no other creatures to get off with except for the ostrich. You have to chase down the boss ostrich. And you have to tame it while it was running really fast. All right, UFG, the second boss mission is a type of giraffe. You have to go over these hoop thingies and avoid obstacles and to not die. You are going to do this about five times. Yeah. Okay. The last one. And then a cool type of animal is going to appear after this. Called UFG. This is UFG, guys. However, I don't want to team them just yet, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw off, be thrown off, chill out. And this is the glitch I was talking to you guys about. The only animals here are vultures and traps. So if you guys did the vulture update, the upgrade so every upgrade you get you get a new animal but if we did the vulture upgrade then you guys must have um unlocked the giraffe so you can go here do the ufg and you can actually tame two different types of animals here but to uh, unlock UFG, you have to um, have giraffes. So, fortunately, you can't do it unless you have the giraffes. So, this goes on actually forever. This one right here, it goes on, never changes places. Like you can see in the original place, it actually like switch grounds, like it get darker. Um, but this one just starts like this and stays like what we were just at for the rest until you die.
but this time I'm gonna end this party. Um, I'm gonna chain this guy. I've been landed on him for a while, but I'm gonna tame him. So, how do you tame an animal? If you see an animal that says new on it, and land on the animal, and you'll see like a taming meter. And when the taming meter gets full, you take a picture of the eel on the animal, and then you tame it. So, the bad thing is that there's rocks and you can fall and die in them. So, I'm gonna actually we'll see if there's any upgrades. Okay, get bonus glands for longer jumps on giraffes. Um, money from giraffes. Ever stumble from minor crashes. Ooh, I, I like that one. I have 600, 6, 000, 600. Okay, so that, yeah, that's good. I have 670, now I only have 420. So I'm gonna go here. This other ad. Oh, I didn't, okay. Oh, okay. So, okay, I got it. Um, just gonna quickly try and tame it. So then I can it. I don't know if it's possible to have two boss missions at the same time. It might be, but you have to just like not try the boss mission. Like, a, like for a long time and then finish other missions and finally do them both. I think it's possible to do three, but in the, there's only three boss missions in the savannah. You can change places and go to the tundra, the Arctic. Um, you can go to the jungle mountains where there's like llamas and stuff. Um, I haven't gone to any of those other places, um, but I do know that it might be the hardest to survive in which the jungle. Maybe because there's alligators that come out of water and try to eat you in the jungle. So yeah. Oh, look, we got you a key. Mm, so yeah, I have to take a picture. Take that guy, Atlas. So it brings me back, I completed that mission. So, okay, I tamed UFG, yay. Um, so what we're gonna do next, after one more run, we're gonna go to a different place. I'm not saying we go to like Olympus or anything, which is possible in this game. We go to like Olympus or Olympia. Um, but we're gonna go to space to this, after this. There's an ocean, I think, as well. Like I said, there's jungle, tundra. We can actually see it when we die. Um, I don't wanna die though. So I'm gonna stay alive as long as I can. And then. Yeah, it'll be over. 
Okay, I'm not gonna do the ad because the ads are annoying or have to pay. Okay, so the map here is where you expand. There's the jungle, it's invisible. The mountains, you can see on the top. The outback, oh, there's kangaroos, I guess. My dingoes, probably. The outback, you can see it right there. Um, and the Arctic. And I don't know what that thing is. It's not letting me see that, but, um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to press this rocket button in the top left corner. If you want to unlock this slot, this button, you go here, you click the, this this big thing, or you can press settings, this button right there, and then select the thing that says shop. They both lead you to the same place, just, just clicking there is much easier. So, for this, you click the add button and you unlock the Jurassic place. And then you need energy packs to run into the Jurassic thing. So, I'm going to purchase them. Energy the little thingy. And then I'm gonna press the rocket button. It leads me to this space thingy. And there's dinosaurs. So I have two brontosauruses, two T-Rexes, one triceratops, two velociraptors, um, two parasaurolophuses, and then one ankylosaurus. So, what you need, you need energy to press the play button, so if you don't have energy, you can't do it. So you upgrade, it's just like the Savannah place, you upgrade, but instead of upgrading with money and completing missions, and completing, um, like, little, uh, I don't know what to call them. Like it says, upgrade your habitat, upgrade your elephant habitat to twelve, but it's a level like three, or, and then, and then pay five thousand coins if you would like to upgrade. So that's if you want to upgrade it. If you want to upgrade your, but anyways, if you want to upgrade it here actually have to complete Jurassic missions and then once you upgrade um you can um, upgrade enough missions you can upgrade your map which brings you to different places and lets you unlock different types of creatures so this is the 1000 meter place there's these Red asteroids that come, don't want to land in them. Now, there's a T-Rex right there. They come from behind you. It's really annoying. Come from behind you, and then they try and eat you from behind you. So they're basically, like, annoying. <laughs> You have to complete missions, and when you complete missions, you can upgrade it. Honestly, right now, I don't know what any of the missions are. Just that one. Okay, there's a T-Rex. I saw it. I saw it. And I hear it's thumping. Oh, no, it's chasing me. Ah, gotcha.
Okay. Speeding up. So when the raptors get angry, they actually. Okay, there's no. When raptors, they go faster. With Parasaurolophuses, they jump. Here, I got a new animal here, so. Dang it, I die on the animal. Boo hoo hoo. Um, so, Parasaurolophuses jump. Um, Brontosauruses throw you. So do Ankylosauruses. T Rexes, they eat you, but if you eat other animals, they stall to eat you and then they'll eat you after. So let's just go on this reactor guy. I don't know what the mission is supposed to be. I think it's like land a something meter jump. I think it might be 60. I'm gonna have to see this up. See this guy and then knee him across. Okay, let's see what it is. Land six from 100 cheese. Halfway there for that one. Oh my god, I saw a T Rex. Jeez. It me. Oh my god. They're annoying. Oh jeez, it's after me again. What did I ever do to you? Okay, I'm actually literally running for my life here. Because I die. Okay, different type of raptor. Alright, we have a go. Oh my god, it's right there. Ooh. After yeah, I'm gonna use the money. What? Why did it bring me to the shop? Oh, I don't have no money. Dang. Um, just are easy to find. I'll just. Okay, so I ran out of energy. I have zero energy. Ten ankylos We have to ride those. To have twenty-four eggs. Stand up here. Scroll this for twelve seconds. Seems easy enough. So now that I had three missions completed, I gotta upgrade my little map. And I have a new creature that I have to find. Um. Map. Okay, so I just need to place it. Okay, interesting. So I can't play right now, I need money. So I'm gonna go back. And yeah. I think you guys might understand this more now. So I. Hope you guys like this game. I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite games on this website. Oh, jeez, that was a quick one. Oh, there's our UFG. Oh, I smash already. Okay. Um, hopefully in the next episode, we will be upgrading our map. For the last time and then we can go to a different area this next one I believe is the arctic or no the jungle 
I forget, but um, I can't wait. And also, we need, I'm going to show you how to get two different rare types of animals next time. Because if you, you have to have the last upgrade, actually, get, you have to have next animal to actually get these two types of animals. And the last animal is, guys, the lion. How to get the type of lion called the chef lion. Eat 30 animals. If it eats you, you can use the revive. And you'll be fine. And you can be fine, you can use the add. Ooh, level up. I'm aware of that. Because the more you ride animals, the you get upgrades. Um, but like I was saying, guys, um, I can, oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, but the lion, so yeah, I remember now. So you get eat 30 animals on a lion. If it eats you, you use the revive. And as long as you just eat 30 animals, then the chef lion guy will appear and you guys can tame it. And then there's the chosen zebra. You have to ride seven different animals in a row. And I'm going to be giving y'all advice on how to actually tame this guy because um, I've made him appear three times, um, especially when I was trying to tame it. Got a new elephant? Yes. Befriended the king. Hey, Lee. Oh, and it threw me off right after. Um, well, thank you so much, guys, for watching this. Um, please subscribe and like, and both of them encourage me to make more videos. Show that I'm not the only one watching it. So please like and subscribe. Comment down below what was the favorite part of your this video and what you like to see in the next one. Bye!